what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved and if you guys can notice something please tell me you notice it's shiny look at how shiny the dodo is look at him <laughs> fuck you dodo actually you get, get back over there because you're in my way okay so as you can all kind of gather it's shiny it is full shininess, and to tell you just how shiny this is, this is how shiny this is. It is amazing. Uh, I kind of dumbed down the sky quality just a little because it was kind of giving me some slight graphics areas in some places, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's so beautiful. And there's, uh, there's more. There is much more. So, as you can see, we did get electricity in the base, finally. We added some more crop plots, and... Uh, uh, kind of secured some things. And, um, Fruit Loops, well, he's still such a low level. But Clifford, he is new. He is big and red. And he, uh, he's also shiny. And he has teeth. Look at the fucking teeth. Look, guys, I am just super excited. You know what this all means? All this shininess? Um, to really. T here. Uh, boom. I'm running 45 frames a second, 48, 50, it's godly. Uh, it is not 60 FPS, which, you know, nobody can fucking run unless you're running probably like three-way Titans, but I do have my GTX 980 Ti Wolblam in my computer. Yes, the shiny, I know. And, hold on, hold on, Thanos... He is going to go for a ride here today. We uh, extended this out. We got ourselves some mammoths. Come on, buddy. Okay, you you have a seat. I'm going to close this up. We're going to take you for uh, more part of an update, actually. Uh, this probably came through in the last update for... Oh, my God. It's so shiny. Uh, I lost my train of thought. I have no thoughts. My brain, it cannot... Uh, the last update for Valhalla, but we're going to be traveling a little ways, so stay tuned, stay, uh, stay at that helm of the wheel, if you will. We will be right back with the, uh, in, uh the forgotten land, I, uh, the ancient, uh, I don't know, the artifacts maybe? I don't know what to call it, but stay tuned, we will see you in five, four seconds. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and... Alright guys, we are back and we are getting close. I thought I'd give you just a uh, quick little uh, little tidbit before we got here. Um, you can kind of see it there in the distance right above my head. We were uh, out and about, kind of gathering some oil, and we uh, came across this in the background. Now I'm guessing they added this around the same time they added... Uh, all that to the whole floating island and the aqueducts. I just was too uh, caught up in that to realize and my uh, view distance on my laptop, even though it is on Epic, uh, could not render this in. So that is my thoughts behind it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're getting there. Hopefully, uh, I'm gonna. They're faster. Thanos is not the fastest Quetzal on the map. But, we finally tamed him. That is a whole bunch of botched footage that uh, you guys will not be seeing. I would have loved to have shown you that. It was pretty epic. Uh, the amount of Quetzals we were after that day. Uh, we went after one that was right over here. Lost him. Went after a second. Lost him. Went after a third. He got eaten by a, a Giga right down behind that mountain right over there. That was fucking fantastic. And then, out of sheer luck, on the way home, found this guy and went after him. We were lucky. We finally downed him uh, through the glitch on the map where they get stuck on a mountain trying to fly into, I don't know, nothing. But, uh, oh, you guys can actually see the uh, little bit of uh, kind of sky glitch that's around like Thanos' head here and his wings. We're actually gonna, gonna hop off him really quick so he can regain his stamina. 
which is uh, really fantastic. You fly high enough and then just uh, let him sit there for a second. He regains his stamina. So that's cool. But yeah, all all the Quetzals, massive, tame, fails galore. It, it, it was horrible. It sucked. And it was a great moment once we finally got this guy. But again, alas, sigh. I don't know. Next time, next time, guys, we're going to go after the Giga, and that should be pretty fucking good. Hopefully, whatever uh, problems I was having is gone. Uh, you guys should be all enjoying the nice, crisp, clear audio, which, again, is fantastic once it's finally up and running the correct way. And you should all be seeing this nice and... Uh, Nice and clear now. Thankfully the fog cleared up. I was going to turn my uh, sky quality all the way down just so that I could get a little bit better uh, viewing. But we're coming up to it nicely here. It's not finished uh, by no means. It is pretty glitchy actually. If you try to fly as I'm about to on Bird or Quetzal or whatever, Pteranodon, You'll notice that there's a lot of things you can't actually get to, which I'm not sure if they just kind of screwed up on their hitboxes, but they are obviously still working on this. So I will give them their time needed to adjust, but it is epic nonetheless. And I uh, should probably be running into that problem with the hitbox now. Yep, there it is. So it's... Uh, uh, retarded. I'm not exactly sure why it does that. Um, I did mess around with the level editor quite a bit back when they were doing the contests and didn't get too far into it. I didn't have the time, but I'm not exactly sure. You land? I don't know. Can't tell you. But this is epic beyond all hell. I mean, look at this. Somebody has really taken the time to put in this map to add all these details. And, uh, oh, that, that's not actually people. There's another part of the map where there's a slight cave. Um, in fact, I will pull out my GPS here. So we're at 5226. And if I'm looking at my map, said cave that I'm talking about is straight below me, actually. So... While it's not 52, it would be more around, I don't know, 85, 25, and, whoops, wrong buttons. <sighs> I hate bugs. They are the worst fucking creature ever added to Ark. Where are you? Fuck off, bugs. Peace out. But... And this is Drew's base. Somehow Drew's base got, well, uprooted. It sucks to be Drew's base here. I don't think any of his dinos are still down here. No. Um, it's a random spawn of Miss Mitchma. My words, they're coming to me today, guys. I swear. Um, whatever dinos, though. Hey, another Quetzal. Uh, I'm actually in the market for a female, so... Oh, ho, ho. this could this could happen today, guys. This this this. I'll have to get back to this. Anyway, um, yeah, just all kinds of epic. I mean, the monkey statues alone are pretty awesome, but this also kind of ties into the actual legitimate map where they added the snow cave or the ice cave and the other one. I'm sure they're implementing those type of uh, details from that in here as well because I feel like they could add a cave somewhere around here and it would be pretty baller. But on top of that, and I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to play this off, but it makes sense in this huge like arena looking kind of thing. So notice that there's an obelisk, do you? Because I do. And I'm not sure about the other one, but it has a purpose. Uh, can, can I please? Thank you. You can summon a broodmother. I, I can't, but... 
it's there. It is actually there, which is pretty awesome. Now, if they incorporate this to let you uh, bring in your dinos that you've saved from previous uh, maps, previous arcs, that would be slick. Let me tell you. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this update, guys. I, I wish I had more for you. Uh, I've been super busy. Finally, like I said, I've got my uh, graphics card installed. And you should be looking this in all high deafness. I'm going to render this into YouTube at full 1080 at 60 frames. And see how this takes. I've never uploaded something with such uh, high graphics before. So hopefully you guys can see this like I am because it is stunning. It, apparently this is what the game devs wanted to show everybody is just how amazing this game looks. I, I look back at my previous videos and just sit there and wonder why. Why was I playing this on a Nintendo, you know, NES old school system when I, I needed this in my life? yes so guys like i said i will be back later with some better uh gameplay we're gonna try and get a giga this week we're still looking for a procoptodon that was supposed to be in my last game footage and uh, as i said it got wiped and just totally just discombobulated gargled and just bullshit hey it's nice and bright out um i i'm almost convinced though that they do not exist on this map i have been everywhere looking for them and can't find them so in the event that I do find one, we will be uh, definitely recording ASAP and uh, picking up monkeys on the way, because that's fun. But stay tuned, guys. If you uh, like the video, let me know in the comments below. If not, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. You will not hurt my feelings. I am just enjoying the view of the shininess. So as always, it that like button. Enjoy, and I will see you next time. Adios.